Hey guys, how's everyone doing? I'm going to show you a couple of my ball pythons. I haven't really showed you guys a collection update in a while. Um, this is one of the, uh, this is a pastel girl that I made uh, last season from my bumblebee and my super pastel breeding. I decided to hold her back because she's the one who came out of the egg really premature. Um, and she had her umbilical cord wrapped around her midsection and she didn't absorb any of her, any of her um, yolk sac. So... I decided to keep her back because I actually don't have any single gene pastel females in my whole collection. I have pastel head pies and super pastels, but no single gene pastels. Let's move on. I'll show you her brother that came out of that clutch. This is the last bumblebee that I have left. I didn't really want to keep him back because I already have a male. But he's a good eater. He's got a really bad wobble too. That's another reason why I kind of decided to hang on to him. He's got a lot of the same interesting speckling going on that the last one had. Down his belly too. It's kind of interesting. You can see it, see it all there. But yeah. Um, he is technically for sale. Uh, I'd want to sell him as a pet because, like I said, he's got a really bad wobble. That spider for you, right? Let's move on. Uh, yeah, this is my holdback from that clutch for sure. This is the reason I bred those all those together. This is a female killer bee. The whole reason I wanted to breed those two together uh, was I wanted a killer bee. I think they're a cool, cool looking snake. Uh, obviously, a person in the pudding. I think she's a pretty, pretty good quality one too. And they're good females to have, and they're full grown. I mean, super pastel spider. It's a really cool looking snake, I think. Stop. Oops. <laughs> Anyways, let's go look for some more. Kind of torped up right now. Let's see. Show you this girl, which I think is really cool. And she just peed when I picked her up. That's cool. It's a calico female that I bought as a male for like next to nothing, like dirt cheap. And by calico, I mean sugar. I'm sorry. It's a sugar female. I bought her as a male for next to nothing because I bought a couple other snakes from this guy. And I said, hey, what do you give me? I gave me a good deal on this one. It's a female. Pretty low expression sugar, but everyone knows that. Low expressions can make high expressions and vice versa. You can kind of see right there on the side. Pretty cool girl. Let's move on, show you some more. Let's see. Oh yeah, this girl's in the shed right now. But it's looking kind of dark. This is an inchy female. Nothing too mind blowing, just, you know. Good inchy. They're always good to have in a collection. And I'll show you my feistiest, most nippy snake that I have in my whole collection. <laughs> I couldn't speak any better timing. It's my pastel leopard female. She is always torqued up. Like she's always just dialed right in on me. Uh, let's see. That's my tripod I think she's striking at. So yeah, she's really cool. Pretty excited about being a leopard project. Uh, she's also posset pied. So I'm going to breed her on my pied eventually down the road or some other offspring that he may have. Look at how like tense she is. <laughs> I think if she proves out to be... I think she is het pied. I mean she's got the train track. She's very stripey. Uh, it's you know a lot of characteristics of pet pied. Sorry. Um, anyways, another pretty cool girl right here. This is a spider female. Who I don't know. I mean I think she might be a spider yellow belly. I mean look at the belly. It's as literally as orange as can be. She's got the uh, busy pattern on the sides. Look how just super clean her top is. And you can see it right there, all of her black is surrounded by 
a lot of gold. Um, and if she's not, it doesn't matter. I don't have any single gene spiders in my collection, especially females. Um, sorry, my cat's going crazy right now. Um, I haven't chased her out of the room, or him out of the room every time I, he comes around. But yeah, I think that's really cool. I mean, just look at that belly again. Look how orange that is. One of my cooler project snakes. Try to breed her out, see if I can prove something. Uh, here's another one. Pretty cool busy snake. This pastel vanilla female. Who is also pretty torqued up right now. I got really torqued up. I would be surprised if I get tagged right here. Come on, little guy, just be good. Um, I wish she would come undone so I could show you her. I can try to get her undone, but I feel like that is insane. Like just how the, how thick of a ball she's in right now is insane. Every muscle in her body's contracted. I'm just gonna put her back. You get the idea. Pastel vanilla, nothing really fancy. Good looking girl though. What else do we have? I feel like I'm missing one that I wanted to show you specifically. Oh yeah, right, duh. I, don't, I am. This guy. One of the newer ones I have in my collection. It's a pastel, inchy, yellow belly male. He has a lot of... Um, I got a lot of plans for him in the future. I've been I've been stockpiling um, yellow belly girls um, and putting inchy and in, inchy into ivory, especially pastel. Also, is going to make a pretty cool snake for me. I hope. I really have a thing for pastel inchy ivories, and I will try to make one with this guy. Pretty cool snake. I mean, he's really really pretty. Look at that belly. I can get him to turn over. Really good looking snake. He's going to be really important for me. I'll put the video on pause and I'll be right back. And this lovely specimen is my other inchy female. Uh, she definitely has something else going on with her. I've showed a lot of people her, got a lot of um, got a lot of second opinions, and so we'll see. I don't really know at the moment, but I think she's a wicked looking inchy. She's got this uh, striped on her back, and I mean, look at that those teardrop patterns. Looks like dripping paint, actually. Cool snake. Can't wait to try to mess around with her a little bit. She's got a good size on her too. She's about 600 grams now. Let's keep going. And I don't know what I'll show next. One of my personal favorites in my whole collection. She's kind of going into shed right now too. It's my black pastel yellow belly female. I just love what black pastel does to things. Black Pestel Hypos or Black Pestel Ghosts are some of my favorite looking baby snakes fresh out of the egg. And of course you've got Yellow Belly here on this girl. Cool looking snake. I want to bring my banana to her because if you guys haven't seen Black Pastel Bananas or Black Pastel Yellow Belly Bananas, you need to go on World of Ball Pythons and look at those. Awesome animals. Here's my dinker girl, another one I'm just playing around with. I don't know what she is. is she, I don't know. A lot of striping, big black back to her, really dark head. Lots of striping, lots of weird belly patterns. I wish she would just calm down. Cool snake overall, I think. Well, I don't think I know she's a cool snake. It's just female, so I mean, at the end of the day, she'll be trying to. Dang. 
fine trying to prove out. Uh, whoa, calm down, girl. Alright, she wants to go back. Let's see. What else can I play with? I haven't shown this girl in a while. She's getting a little bit of good size in her. It's my lesser bee. It's a lesser spider female. She's getting up there in size too. Pretty cool girl. Nice, light, and pretty. Soft looking. Good demeanor too. She's one of my nicest snakes that I have. She's always uh, fun to take pictures of and look at because she's just, I mean, the difference is just so stark with a snake this light compared to most other ones that are in people's collections. And we have here, tried and true, yellow belly female. Look at that belly on her. This is one of the nicest single gene yellow bellies. That I've seen. It took me a long time to buy my first one uh, because I wanted to get one of the nicer examples that I've seen and she definitely definitely fit the bill. Getting a picture of that because that was perfect. Um, nice flames on her. Ooh, she's pissed. Nice dark, but yeah her belly just is what ooh, her belly is just the main reason why I picked her up when I did. So yellow, so busy, classic yellow belly. All right, and I've only got the paper towel down, guys, because I wasn't getting. It seems like the black of that rack it was throwing off the uh, the color balance. I'm, I get more accurate color with that white bottom right there compared to the compared to just the black of the rack. And of course, everyone's seen him. This is the father of all of the clutches that I've hatched this year, or that I'm hatching this year. This is the banana mill. He bred every female that will have laid for me this this season. Um, got him to a pinstripe. I've got him to a possible fire female. Possible normal also. Can't really couldn't really tell, so I'll figure that out. And I've got him to another two really big females. Um, very dark and very light females. So I'm trying to see how different I can make bananas, and I should get a pretty good sample size. I've already got, uh, what do I have? I've already got 13 eggs in the incubator from him, from two females, so I should be able to get a pretty good idea. If I can make any different bananas. Sorry if I'm rambling, guys. I'm uh, just trying to think out this video without making it too long, which it already is, but uh, one of my favorite girls, and she's in deep shed right now. So you can't really get an idea of her. This is a, I mean, even in shed you can tell what it is. It's a pastel hypo. Um, just thought I would show her in a video. Pastel ghost, pastel hypo, pick your poison. And that'll be all that I'm showing for now. <clears throat> oh, I'll show you one more where the video cuts out and I've only got a few minutes left on it just because I know she'll stay pretty balled up it's one of the newest females that I have it's a, this is a 100% het clown female that I got because I've been wanting to get into the het clown pro or the het clown I've been wanting to get into the clown project for a long time picked her up from a really good friend of mine she is a Casey Lasik line het clown female can't wait to use her in Future. She's about a thousand grams right now, so I won't try to breed her this year, I don't think. But I might. It just depends if I can get me a male or not. But I might give her the year to let her get a lot bigger. Alright, guys, that's going to be it for the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Sorry I didn't make any more anytime sooner. Not a whole lot been going on, not a whole lot to film, so now there is, and I will. Alright, guys, thanks for watching.